Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our 1K Wallet Challenge. Hey! Because I know everybody loves that one, or a lot of people seem to. We get a lot of views out of that one, uh, and really looking to take advantage of this growth opportunity. Um, and before we get started, obviously, this is not financial advice. Please do your own research. Uh, as much as I've taken a lot of my learnings over the years with uh, in the banking industry, uh, just in financial in general, um, I'm trying to use that to create a simple way of, of you investing funds and allowing it to be a a system that you can use whether you're investing $250 or $1,000 or $10,000. Uh, this can kind of work for you. Um, and we're off to a little bit of a slower start, but we've been able to, to kind of build another leg. Yes, one of them's looking possibly gone, uh, so we may have to deal with that kind of woes, but we're still building. Um, and uh, unfortunately, some of the legs are, are not as strong as we'd like, but we're going to work on that and see what kind of happens with that. Um, along those same lines, before we get into it, I do have a, a slight monologue with this whole thing. Uh, vault has uh, launched pre-sale. Uh, this is a protocol where I'm almost taking what we're doing here, but putting it uh, very simply so that we're managing it for you. Um, we have some really great legs to our table here uh, with Warfi, we're gonna bring in iBots soon. Um, we have uh, Flex IRA, which is a limited access protocol that we're gonna get access through vault for. Uh, the Crypto Wealth, uh, the Creative Wealth Bot um, that we've designed for our private project that we had, we're gonna use that because uh, it's working quite well for us to help create revenue inside vault -Tech. And we have, I have a few surprises that I'm working on in the back Around to try and get even more revenue sources that are going to be very, very good and possibly uh, very profitable to help kind of bring that average rate up over time. We don't know. A lot of people have been asking, "Oh, how much you're going to get out?" Because of the way we're doing this compounding system to help increase the value of the token, uh, the rewards are going to be a little bit slower at first. Uh, and I do always say in a lot of my videos, get your initial out first. But because we're kind of diversifying with larger amounts of money, we can be a little bit more uh, gambly, I guess, if you will. Because a lot of times we're actually using this these rewards to do what you'd be doing anyways. We're going to take it and invest in other projects, those compounds. So we're doing it inside the protocol so that compounding effect is not as detrimental to you if you were just doing it inside of one protocol. Um, so uh, uh, doing it in just Warfi or just whatever, A, B, or C protocol. Um, so yeah, so please come along for that ride. I Have a look at the at the um, vault -Tech video. I did do a great AMA with Crypto Andy, a, a great guy that I love to hang out with and appreciate in the space. And um, yeah, that's about it for that. So let's get right into it. Um, and oh, sorry, I did want to say quickly, if you go over to the about section here, I've added it in just to make it easy. Uh, so here's my Discord, Twitter, and Telegram. So if you guys have some time, take advantage, show that a little love, um, especially the Discord. I think that's kind of going to be the bigger area where our community grows from. Uh, and we'll go don't want to have, don't know what happened when my light changed colors on me. Um, so yeah, so let's go into our stuff. So first, I wanted to show Stable Invest. I'll pause it in a second. I actually did get to see um, kind of real trades happening. Uh, I've talked to the dev. We're going to talk a little bit more uh, and see what happens with this protocol. It does need to grow a little bit to create a little bit more safety, get that TVL up a little higher in order to make it a, a little safer play. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to kind of helping him with that a little bit maybe. Um, it's it, he's got a neat idea and he's got a and he's definitely not here to, to rug like I said we've had some really good chats he's gonna get KYC all this kind of stuff um, so uh, so yeah so these are all positive things for this one and as you can see we've had some growth here we've got about uh, eighteen dollars worth of growth here even during the little hiccup that we had so we're gonna pull that out um, and bring us back down to our two fifty uh, invested um, and go from there but first we'll go into our plans. So this is how it changed around a little bit, I think, even than last time. So as you can see, you got 6%, 4%, and 8% monthly. Um, so a little nicer plans, depending on how much you're going. And But the terms are longer in order to keep those for you. Um, so we've got gold, silver, and platinum. Uh, and all of them have a minimum deposit of $100, which is nice and easy to get into. Uh, and basically, you're just getting your rate based on the term that you pick. So I, I didn't really look at this beforehand. I probably should have could, to kind of figure out what we'd like to do. Um, because I, I do hope that these rates could go up down the road if he if he ends up doing a little bit better job and stuff uh, and as he grows the protocol. So I don't know if I want to go with the really long one, but they're all kind of long, I guess, um, which is, I guess, really great. And this is something I think a lot of people don't realize. Oftentimes, these protocols are left so open that they actually create 
problems for themselves. Because uh, if you have money going in and out, in and out, it makes it very hard to, to plan. Uh, it makes it hard to, to uh, manage the protocol. Um, so I do like that some protocols do that, but some it's kind of handier if they don't. So as you can see, little longer terms, nothing wrong with that. Um, some decent ROIs. If, if you're making 6% a month on something, and you can consistently earn that amount, that's not a bad thing. Um, that, that'll grow quite nicely and become quite a nice nest egg for yourself. So um, so right now what I'll do, it's two months more, what, 2% more. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. I, I'm not gonna say everybody should do this one, it is a longer term, but because there's only two months in between each one, um, as much as the rate may go a little bit higher, I'm gonna go ahead with this one. Uh, Cause 8%, like I said, is still very, very good. Uh, and we're gonna pull that from our main balance. Uh, so continue to invest and so yeah just a nice and so this one's um, pretty easy going did I do it in there confirm and proceed I think it updated that and I didn't there we go so we've successfully done that nice and easy um, so you can go to your investment and you can see our plan now is set up and our timeline so we're looking at um, May to March and our total return will be 450, so we'll more than double our money uh, over that time. And obviously those will be dripped out to us here, and that'll give us a little bigger uh, profits here that we can get every week to help make sure that we're we're doing that. Um, I should have checked our plans. Monthly interest, yeah, okay. Um, so let's go back to, uh, and we're gonna do a withdrawal to our crypto wallet, withdrawal now. And we're gonna do it in USDC, because that'll go to the Binance. Uh, so it's 1876. Yeah, I don't need a description. So that's going to our insufficient balance. Oh, 75.5, because I got to look at that, I guess. So 7.5. We'll just do that. There we go. Confirm withdrawal. So very easy system to work with. Um, so the withdrawal is taking place. It'll ha it'll come into my account fairly quickly. I have done this a couple of times, so I do know it works. And this will add another 1870 into our uh, wallet that we'll use for our next leg uh, that's coming up. And we're not doing too, too bad there. I won't have any Wolf Capital to pull out yet because um, I pulled it out the other day. So we've now got, uh, I just want to go in here. So now got about $68, $69 that, to work with towards our next $250 leg, um, and that'll help um, later on. iBot's still ticking away and doing some nice returns. We had a nice over half a percent return on Friday, uh, and then yesterday at 2.7. So some really great uh, numbers here. We're working really uh, getting close to uh, probably getting above our 5% desire here um, um, per month, which is between 5 and 15. So just great little drip there. Uh, and our TBL has now hit the 250,000 mark. So that's awesome. Uh, and so we'll keep going there. I'll log into that one more often when I'm doing these, uh, but we're definitely not going to have enough to pull out yet from this one, uh, just because it is a little bit of a slower one, which is not a bad thing. Uh, so this one here, I believe I claimed yesterday, actually it was about almost uh, a day ago. So we've already got $6.33 ready. Uh, that's climbing for our withdrawal for the next week. And that's what's building a lot of our stuff. As I said right now, uh, Fathom is a little bit of a slow burn right now. I'm hoping they do make some way and come back and get some some better returns. I'm not going to move this out because of the fees and stuff um, until that's a little bit higher. <coughs> Pardon me. So we'll just leave that one as is uh, for now and let it kind of grow and see how she goes. Um, there is a referral ability now. Uh, so if you do believe in the team, and I do believe in the team for this one, um, I'm not going to sit there and say start throwing a million dollars at it. Uh, do use your own caution. I do think they're trying to create something that's a little different. It's got a neat little mechanic to it. Um, they, I will put my ID for the referrals from my other wallet that I have invested um, in order to give you that opportunity if you'd like to get in. Um, or if nothing else, go visit the Discord, see what they're doing, see the, how the updates go. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing how hopefully how they um, evolve through this this time. Uh, and as you guys can see, we got one, two, three, four. So there's our four table legs right now. Um, I should pull up the uh, spreadsheet. So I will do that right now and we'll go back to that before we finish everything off. All right, so I did my little check trick where I went into the, uh, used my wallet and searched in the tokens that I know that I got back funds from. And that's where I got my yesterday where I pulled out of Wolf Capital for 32.61 and added that into here. Um, so yeah, so there we go. And that kind of finishes it off. And as you can see, we're on a nice little healthy climb again, as long as uh, 
and now we were we did a little bit of a bump because this one gets spread out so much uh, because it's lower uh, and then iBots hopefully we'll see some rewards from later on uh, this one obviously will uh, keep our fingers crossed but I'm not holding my breath for anything uh, and then Fathom Finance uh, will hopefully keep getting some rewards over time uh, but just kind of a little bit of a drip so we're up to around 84 uh, once the stable invest stuff comes in, which it, I presume it has not yet, um, so we're still at 68, but then once we have the stable invest, we'll be there. Um, so great, so working towards our next leg, uh, and most likely it, it, it may, and we in reality really says that it, it may end up being replacing this leg. Uh, we all know uh, that that could, be, that could happen in this, and I think it's good that it does happen just to show us the resilience of this plan and how even though we will lose this leg potentially, we are actually above because we've created a new leg, we're above square one. Um, I do wanna see us obviously grow and I don't wanna see dips, but at the same token, it's reality, it will happen. Um, the good thing is uh, we took two kind of gambler-ish plays that were a little bit higher risk and one of them is holding the other one up by by re re rewarding. Uh, and then our slower ones will just keep going. Uh, but it does give us the opportunity that when we do make a ne the next leg, we can maybe take a little bit more of a riskier approach and take a protocol that's gonna give us a little bit more uh, volatility in hopes that it would build us the next leg even faster. Um, so this is again why you wanna be diversified so that if you lose one leg, you're not losing your whole portfolio. Um, so it is good still to have this kind of volatility and show how you how you can come back from it. And, and it could have been worse because we we were a little concerned about stable invest, uh, but he definitely stuck with it and and uh, remained open communication with me, uh, which is fantastic. And as I said, next time what I'll do is I, I did get a little video of showing trades uh, live, so I can let you guys know that and possibly show you that. Um, and then iBots, as always, just ticking along really nicely. Uh, Wolf Capital obviously doing its thing and uh, Fathom Finance hopefully going to uh, keep rising up and uh, e and evolving their system. So hopefully you appreciated this chat. Uh, the start, I gave you a lot of the little uh, nooks and crannies and tips and tip tricks at the start of this one. Uh, usually save those for the end for you. Uh, but I do appreciate how we're moving uh, and we'll hopefully start moving in a more positive way as we go. And we're yeah, 13, coming into our 13th week, which is pretty great. And uh, like I said, I have another leg already working um, towards another one, uh, not quite halfway through yet, but getting there. And uh, we'll see that hopefully keep going and going. Thanks so much for your time as always. Do check out the channel, check out the Discord. I do appreciate all your guys' support and uh, let's keep uh, keep finding this, this these crypto options. Have a great day.